I'm very stressed. You're about to have your boobs out in the living room. About to have the boobs out in the living room. That's always how it goes. My two gay stylists come over and I get full ass, butt ass naked. Let's go home. Not only are we approaching the most wonderful time of the year, but some might also say it's the most hectic, stressful, anxiety provoking time as well. Especially if you're running an online store, you've got inventory to manage, orders to fill, and a growing list of stressed out customers checking in twice a day, wondering whether those last minute gifts will arrive on time. I feel like that last line was pointed at me. Anyway, hmm. regardless, well, ShipStation is here to help the Tillies. ShipStation imports all of your sales from different channels so you can access them from one easy to use dashboard. I think this is such a huge help because it takes away the time wasted that comes with checking each of your sales channels like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and allows you to view everything in one place. Plus it helps you save money on shipping. And you all know we love saving money. ShipStation works with all the major carriers internationally and locally, including FedEx, USBS, and UPS. And you even get access to discounted rates that are usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. 98% of companies who use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. It's that good. Mind you, I've used ShipStation for before. I wanna, I wanna point that out there. The discounted rates, that's for real, real. That's like, that. that's enough of a reason to get on it like, at, by itself. That's for real, real. I wanna throw that out there, yeah, it's huge. Make this holiday season a little brighter with ShipStation. Use our offer code WT9 to get a 60 day free trial. Just enough time to handle the holiday rush. Go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top and enter code WT9. ShipStation, make, make ship, ship happen. happen. <laughs> that's good. Make ship happen. Make ship happen. Make it happen, Tilly. That's, that's good. We're making ship happen. That's good. Okay, we're out of here, bye. Stop, drop, roll, rate the pod. We have an emergency podcast we episode have an right emergency now. Emergency pod. We have an emergency it's a podcast. It's nine one one emergency it's, pod. I, it's serious. It's serious. So it is serious. As you can see, I'm in full um, nine to five garb, uh, and I feel like your nine to five garb is not that different than your post five p.m. garb. Well, I'm like my nine to five when I go out into the world garb. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So your work garb, work uh, garb. We, I've been yeah. interrupted in the middle of my work day because we have a, a nail emergency. <laughs> I have a 911 emergency. Wait, but also stop, drop, roll, rate the pod. And also merch drops today. Merch drops today. The crew neck, the wild to nine crew neck. Oh, we're in the future. We're in the future. I was like, merch today. drop today. Yeah, today, today, while you're listening. Groovy today. Tuesday. Groovy Tuesday, yeah. it's merch day. I get it. Groovy Tuesday is merch day. Shaboob, Tilly, uh, Tilly Tuesday. I know that. Tilly. I know that. Tuesday. So the crew neck is dropping today. Is Real cute. Silly Tilly Tuesday. Silly Tilly, tu Silly Tilly Groovy Tuesday. Do I have one of those? No. Do you want to like show the, the LDIY and J Lou part? I know, it's so cute. It's okay, adorable. ready? Ready? Okay, so we've got, babe, here, I'm going to be far away so you can walk us through, give us a product demo. Damn, she's good looking. Thank you so much. Buy the sweater. Walk us through. Uh, it's got a, a wild sun on the top. It's got uh, uh, a bear. Uh -huh. It's got, uh, who has kind of like bubby tendencies. Bubby I can tendencies tell. for sure. Um, it says California, it says LDIY, which is my buddy Jason Zerd's nickname for, and it's my name, J. Lou, from when I played sports. 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 And um, it's just established 2020 because that was the year that this- Was born. Was born. Yeah. Uh, it's It comes in a lovely Heather Gray. Honestly, I made this sweater because I wanted this sweater. <laughs> that's how I've been designing good merch though. I think that's the key to success is that like, when I want a good blanket, I you design just, a good blanket. Design, when I want yeah. a nice cozy varsity sweater, I design a nice cozy varsity sweater. As one does. As one does. You know, I feel like probably how like Louis Vuitton and you know, uh, Eddie, uh, 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 this the I'm sorry. Uh, my French isn't very good. Uh, oh. Whoever was the old creative designer for Saint Laurent, uh, uh -huh. you know, they just design what they want. You're basically Prada. Yeah. Yeah. But so, that's what we're trying to say is that I mean, this is basically Prada. So buy that merch. Buy that merch. Nope. Buy that. Nope. Merch. Nope. Buy that. Nope. Merch. <sighs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we had to, to do the pod hours early because God forbid those nails made it onto okay. a cover. No, no, no. So let me let me give you the 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 rundown. So basically I have this photo shoot tomorrow. Okay. And this photo shoot has been the bane of, uh, it's just the, the root of all of my stress because they gave me a day, but they didn't give me a call time, which means like that's the time they have to show up on set, it's the call time. And the Tillys know what a call time is. 
Tillies know what a call time your, is, yeah. Your man's playing know, to the Tillies. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I take it back. You're like, I don't know if you heard about this call time before, what a call time is. Is when you gotta be there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have this photo shoot and I've been really excited for it. And um, they offered hair and makeup on set. Mm -hmm. And I typically like to use my own um, hair, hair and, makeup. and makeup people. Yeah, because you know what? It's just been happened. It's happened too many times where I've been burned where someone doesn't know, not that they're a bad makeup artist, but they don't know how to do makeup on my face because I have half Asian eyelids and it's like, I've just had some really bad experiences where I've ended up looking real janky. You said half Asian eyelids? Half Asian eyelids, right? So Got I it. don't have a mono lid, but I don't have like a big canvas, like white eyelids usually have. Uh, Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> So like you have you have eyelids you have eyelids uh, and you don't have eyelids <laughs> I don't have eyelids you have half Asian eyelids no it's yeah it's, so anyway so makeup is very different on a mono lid versus um like a Stereo full lid. eyelid and right and Dolby the, digital surround lid the left lid the right yep, lid I yeah. get it I so, get it so and so again it's not that it's bad makeup artists. AirPod lid yeah AirPod lid mm -hmm. it's just that I've ended up looking real fucking weird and not like myself. Like that's the worst part is that when I do like a campaign and I look like an entirely different person and it's not my best foot forward. So, and so then I also went to go look at the makeup artists that they have assigned to the project and they specialize in like horror prosthetics. Great. <laughs> and so again, not that like they're, they're, you know, maybe not a great makeup artist, but I, based on the portfolio, it did not instill confidence in me. So anyway, without a call time, it is very difficult to hire a hair and makeup artist because they're like, what time should I be there? And I'm like, I don't know. And you're like, but I'm, I, I'm not gonna pay for your day rate. Like I just, it's called a do and go where they do your makeup and then they just like leave. They're like, they don't have to stay on set ah, with you to like- I've done many of those. And the, do, the old do and go. Yes. What kind of do and go did you do? Hourly, oh, next question. Hourly. Okay, oh. half hourly. Half hourly. Yeah, didn't need the whole hour. Yikes. Yeah. Um, are we talking about the same thing? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Keep going. So um, yeah, cause like a do and go rate is like very reasonable and they do your makeup, they do your hair and then you, you go. go on your way, a do and go. And so wait, so do they come to this house? Yeah. And then you leave. And then I leave. Got so it. We, we both go. Got it. We both go. Everyone goes. Everyone goes. Got it. Um, so it's been very stressful trying to book my favorite people because it's like just, it's inconvenient. And by the way, I'm available all day. Do you know how to braid hair? No. Yeah, not that I even no. want to braid, but I was just curious. No. Okay. Uh, Braiding is not my specialty. A ask me another question. Can you tease hair? No. no, no how no. about, can you snatch a pony? Um, Do you even know what snatch a pony means? Uh, I've, I've been, uh, um, uh, how about some clip and extensions? I've been told that someone was going to split my wig before. Okay. So um, I've split wigs. How about how about um, tinsel pieces? I love tinsel pieces. Okay. Except for when Moose eats them and they come out the other end. Oh, then they poop out. Not my favorite pieces. tinsel pieces. Not my favorite tinsel pieces. Anyway, either. Tillies, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate y'all. We're up a few thousand. Yeah. Still oh, not 200 grand. Also 200 grand. <laughs> Yeah, I think everything in terms of money. In terms of money, got yeah, it, yeah. got it. We know where it's- $200,000 uh, for subscribers. This is, this is like the- uh, I would, You know what? Our subscribers are worth a lot more than a dollar each. So that is a Oh my fallacy. God, yeah, are you kidding me? Fallacy. I was gonna say that you came directly from work, obviously doing with money and then came directly to the pod and then- I'm not over know. with work. We're, we're, this is basically my lunchtime. This, Welcome to my lunch. I just want everyone to know that it is currently 527. Hey guys, it's lunchtime, so Lewis, like, how are when you? When Jeremy says that like I pulled him out of work, I want to be very clear that it was like 445. Like, it wasn't like halfway through the day to be like, hey, cancel all of your meetings right now. Right. But that, so anyway, so 911 photo shoot, I've had a very hard time and very stressful scheduling my favorite hair and makeup people. That's fine. We're good, good to go. And so this, this photo shoot is, um, we're all being assigned a color and the creative is really cool. It's like very like kaleidoscope-esque um vibes. And is glitter a color? Glitter is not a color. Is glitter for your Monday? I haven't done the glitter for your Monday too in a really long time. Why did you just like outgrow it? I you, you know what? For it? I cracked underneath the pressure. Literally, people were even getting so aggressive when I would like be late with it that it was actually bringing negativity into my life. And I was like, this is and not that's what, what, that's what glitter, glitter for, for your Monday is about. It's not what glitter's for. It's not what glitter's for. I get it. And so I had to retire glitter for your Monday because I was feeling very stressed. I get it. Under the pressure. And now we just have Groovy Tuesday. Now we just have Groovy Tuesday. I um, love that change. 
So anyways, 911 nail appointment today. I have to drive half an hour for a two hour nail appointment and drive home. So it's a, it's a three hour adventure that I'm I'm paying. I'm paying a premium 911 rate. Thank God my girl is amazing and going to see me tonight because I just found out um, 12 hours before the shoot that my hand is like at the front of the shot holding, they described it as the Leonardo DiCaprio cheers shot from The Great Gatsby. So it's like a- So what, the this, Craftopia cover art? Yes, the Craftopia cover art in that gif where I'm throwing yes. the glitter. So I've got I've got some some busted three and a half week old um, nails on these old gel X's. I mean, so, you don't need a screwdriver anymore with those things. Yeah, you really don't. No. You really don't. No. And so 911 hair appointment emergency. No, 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 911 pod, here uh, we hair are. Hair appointment, 911 What's nail. going on guys? Yes, 911, 911. Anyway, uh, big week. Okay, camera emergency, we lost one, but I'm sure everything's gonna be just perfect. <gasps> one went down, one went down. Um, it was only on my angle, no one cared. <laughs> um, did you hear the new Justin Bieber news? The Bieber, the Bieber fever news? Uh, well, my first take when the camera was off was pretty good. I didn't hear about it. <laughs> and Tim I'll Biebs. And I'll pretend like I don't know what Tim Biebs are, but I am- Tim Biebs. Listen, put him in my mouth. Tim Biebs. So Justin Bieber is doing a uh, a collaboration with Tim Hortons, yeah. two Canadian icons. I actually learned that Tim Hortons is not actually Canadian owned anymore, which is some fucking bullshit. What, who owns it? I don't know, some American, I think. Sorry. I, I know, it's so rude. And so anyways, Canadians were up in arms because Justin Bieber has not lived in Canada in a very long time and can't, and Tim Hortons is not Canadian owned. So they're like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So what, what do Canadians want? Do they want to like, Honestly, they, what, like, what do you, what do you want? As a Canadian, I'm want? all I want is a Tim Beeb. I'm satisfied. I want a donut hole Beeb. I don't know what that is. On a whole Beeb. No. I do in a whole Beeb. You let's want a whole let's beeb. be honest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like W-H-O-L-E Beeb. Right. The whole Beeb. Right. Yeah, so this is the Tim B. We've got three new flavors. Okay. I'm very excited. Got We've it. got the birthday cake waffle. Please tell me that one's just vanilla. Beeb. <laughs> 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 so the white boy made the white Timbit, the t sorry, the Tim Beeb, the Tim Beeb. I think they all have to be Tim Beebs now and not Timbit, right? Uh, unsure, I, th you're, this is all news to me. Birthday cake waffle Tim Beeb. Okay. Chocolate sour cream Tim Beeb. Pass on that one. In ev there's not one part of that that I'm interested in. Sour cream Timbits have never really been my thing to be honest. No, gross. Some people are really big fans though. No. Yeah, so chocolate sour cream Tim Beeb. Sour cream, onion, lays. Everything else doesn't exist. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised you don't like sour cream. Oh, Tim, sour cream onion lays. Yeah. Give me an edible in one of those bags. And <laughs> his night is, there goes night the is bag. done. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Oh, is the last one, my love? <laughs> and then I think it's a, a white chocolate fudge mm. or chocolate chocolate white fudge. It's a chocolate Timby. Are they with available white... now and are we getting paid for this? No, I don't know, but I'm I'm desperately awaiting okay. our Tim Beebs when we get to Canada for Got Christmas. It. Well, I'm excited. I'm Color so excited. Color me excited. Color me excited. For an American tradition. For an American tradition with our American icon, Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> what, oh, what? So are they, is he just not supposed to claim Canada anymore because he moved to America? As a Canadian, I think it's fine. As a Canadian, I'm excited. Okay. As a Canadian, I give it the uh, the green the green light. My favorite part when anybody starts a comment on like online mm -hmm. and they they're, they start with as a my favorite my favorite it's like let me let me qualify myself as an expert real quick and then the comment. Yeah, gonna be honest, I've definitely done that before though, because if you don't establish the context for why your opinion might even be a little bit valid, 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 I feel like people really come for you. See, I think it's funnier when they do come for you and then they do a little bit of research and they go, oh, never mind." Most people don't do research. Well, though. there's that, yeah. yeah I, I guess say. I'm just more concerned with like me feeling, I, I don't really care if, if Sally in Iowa doesn't think I'm right. Oh yeah, see, so Sally could ruin my day because I'm a sensey bitch. <laughs> I, right. Sally could really knock my day off track. Per, per our previous episodes, got it. Sensi bitch. Got it, hit us, what's next? Um, So we're going to Thanksgiving in Chicago, in Rockford, in Rockford, Illinois. Well, that's not really how a Northern accent not, works. Was Rockford, not, Illinois. Was that not it? I don't know what accent that was, <laughs> but it's certainly not Illinois and certainly not Northern Illinois. Um, so we're going to Chicago. We're going to Chicago, I'm so excited. I. It's weird to go. I'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna do. I bought boots and a coat. For Did you? this trip, yeah. For this, how many, three day expedition we're going on? Yes. Got it. Yes. Well, I, I, as, as I, I think I've maybe alluded to the pod or maybe not, I, this is one of the first times I've gone back. I haven't, well, one, I haven't been back home in two years. I know it's been forever. Weird. I and know. then on top of that, 
it, I don't think I've ever really spent time. I've spent time in Rockford with money. I've never spent time in Chicago with money. Yeah. Having money in Rockford is very relative, but like having <laughs> money in Chicago is it, uh, more exciting. But like, I, I've never really had like adult, adult. Are you gonna wine and dine money? me? Definitely not. But <laughs> it's weird wait, because- Wait, hang on. Hang yeah, on. Let's, let's keep moving. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know how to um, be a, the adult that we are now. In Chicago. In Chicago, I only know- 10 fun things to do in Chicago. <laughs> Four Luxury. star restaurants. <laughs> Michelin, Ooh, spell check. Um, I, yeah, I. it's weird. Cause I, I don't know the hotel. I, you know what, I, every time I've gone to Chicago, it's go to Wrigleyville and just get, well, hammered. Is that, that's the- Dollar Dollar Bios. Is that baseball? Wrigley Field? Yeah. Right in Wrigleyville? Is yeah. It baseball? It is, yeah. It's also okay. gum, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Wrig Wrigley, Wrigley. We're not going to Wrigley Field. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't no. think we're going to Wrigleyville either. Okay. Yeah. So is Wrigley Field in Wrigleyville? Uh, yeah. You're, well, Wrigley, so Wrigleyville is like all around. Oh, it's a neighborhood. Uh, yeah, but like Wrigleyville is like the area where the actual, like where the Cubs play. Got it, got yeah. it, got it. Um, Iconic for a lot of reasons. All right, so our home garage gym is now getting four days of use for me. Four. I've officially gotten my workout routine back, baby. Just in time for Thanksgiving to take some time off. And if I do say so myself, my muscles are just looking absolutely massive. Maybe like I'm yoked, right? I'm yoked. Huge, giant, <laughs> yoked, yes. Anyways, finding time in our busy schedules can make working out very tough, which is why Peloton has become a, an absolute lifesaver. With Peloton, you can start building fitness into your routine with thousands of cardio and strength classes that take as little as 15 minutes. Plus, the original Peloton bike now costs $400 less, so now is the very perfect time to start making those goals a healthy routine. I like to take a class first thing in the morning so I can just get it out of the way, but an occasional lunch break class is not the worst. First. With their inspiring instructors, you can find what motivation style fits you. They also have some bomb music curated classes with artist collaborations and instructor curated playlists. The music experience is pretty special. With an endless variety of live and on-demand cycling classes, live and on-demand strength yoga, and stretching classes off the bike, you'll keep coming back for more. Experience motivation like never before with the Peloton bike, now $400 less. Visit One Peloton to learn more. Try Peloton classes free for the rest of the year, new members only. Visit onepeloton.com backslash app to learn more. Terms apply. Peloton, when your workout is a joy, it's a joy to work out. And we are back with another episode sponsored by BetterHelp. Is something standing in the way of you achieving your goals? BetterHelp is here to fix that. With BetterHelp, you can get online professional counseling from the comfort of your own home. Long gone are the days where you have to sit in a waiting room and just, you don't wanna be there. You just don't wanna be in the waiting room. BetterHelp allows you to schedule weekly video or phone sessions with your counselors so you can start living your best life. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. They're committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it very easy and free to switch counselors if and when needed. Feeling comfortable with your counselor is extremely necessary when getting help. So this feature is absolutely amazing. I've always said that finding the right counselor is similar to dating. And so for me, it took uh, three or four dates, I think it was, three or four dates with different counselors to find the right one for me. BetterHelp is also more affordable than traditional counseling and they can even offer financial aid. Traditional counseling can be so pricey and I love that BetterHelp is trying to make services more accessible. Services are offered worldwide and so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. We want you to start living a happier life today. And as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash WT9. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash WT9. There's no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. Apart Certainly isn't. Certainly isn't. <laughs> I struggled for years. Sorry, that's not my line. I was go, gonna go. say, damn, not your line, not your line. I know, go ahead, sir. A product that works wonders for curls might make straight hair limp and greasy. That is me, that is me to a literal T. I personally deal with a lot of product buildup and dry scalp, so I'm always looking for something that will give me a clean feel without stripping away the oils that I need. And thanks to my personalized pros routine, I can honestly say that I have never been more in love with my hair. Pros makes custom hair care that's effective because it's personal. Using natural ingredients with proven results, Pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements. All you have to do is take an online quiz where Pros will ask you questions about your hair type, age, how you style your hair, and other important questions that lead to them creating your own personalized routine. 
One of the coolest parts of the quiz is when they ask you for your zip code so that they can factor in environmental elements that might affect your hair. Nerd alert. Nerd, <laughs> but like excited nerd alert. No, totally, it's a good nerd alert. It's a great nerd alert. You want that kind of nerd alert. I know. And for me, that is huge since we live in LA and there is not, not a lot of pollution here. Not, not. Not, not. Very professional. And since I've been using my pros pre-shampoo hair mask, I've noticed how much cleaner my scalp feels. If you're not 100% positive that pros is the best hair care you've had, which I highly doubt will happen, they will take the products right back, no questions asked. Pros is the healthy hair regimen with your name all over it. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your order today. Go to pros.com slash wild, that's P-R-O-S-E, dot com slash wild for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. Someone was telling me that there's a really fun little boat cruise you can do and they like point out, point out all like the cute architecture. We need, uh, well, it's gonna be cold as shit. Oh fuck, that's right, we're so, going in November. I don't yeah, think so we're, we're not gonna, gonna do, gonna do a, Yeah, so I bought a coat, but like not like a coat coat. I bought like a Zara coat. No. You know what I did do though? Mm -hmm. The other night when I was annoyed at you, I like- What do you mean? <laughs> No, 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 no. So I was, we were, we were having a little tiff and I was, I, I, you know, when you make just like decisions, impulse decisions, when you're like in a heightened emotional state. Sure. I bought some Prada boots. <laughs> I, didn't I, didn't I, wasn't that the one that was like, you should buy those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I didn't buy them because I, I backed out and I got chicken. And then you got mad at me and yeah. you bought the Prada boots. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yes. Well, there's yes. that. Yes. Retail therapy. There's a lot Literally, going on. Retail I, there's a lot that goes on in your mind at all times. Uh, like I have said so many times, it is very stressful in here. Got it. It okay. is very stressful yeah. in here. Right. That's why my therapist makes 180 bucks an hour. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to fix this brain. It's busy in here. But like, once again, fix it, uh, you know? What, what do you mean? I feel like, you know, there's not like a two session No, 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 this done. is uh, this is, I guess, maintenance. Mm. Like regularly scheduled weekly maintenance. Mm, got it. I guess it's less of like a fix. Okay. It's well, more like it's more like uh, uh, like uh, getting your oil changed. So you have to do every so often. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just every dude ever this or that. It's just move on. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I bought the boots. I'm very excited. I got a really cute coat from Zara. Wait. So you bought Prada boots for Chicago? Yeah. I figured there won't be salt on the ground yet because Chicago, Chicago doesn't. Does, how much snow does Chicago get? I actually have no idea. Let's just let this live out and we'll see how it goes. No, oh no. Well, I am also gonna pack my Uggs. And so I also- Which pair? Your pair, your backup pair, your backup backup pair. Lauren is a hoarder. <laughs> a of hoarder. And, oh my, I, you just have so many of the same <laughs> thing just sitting there. My issue is that like my feet have stayed the same size since like grade nine and Uggs I've taken, honestly, mom DIY gets all the credit for this. She used to spray, she like used to spray like the, the winter repellent spray uh -huh. on my Uggs. And so my Uggs have really lasted a long time. And then people who wear Uggs know this, like once your Ugg forms to your foot, it is the comfiest thing that you'll ever wear. And so like, I can't, like if it's in good shape, I can't bear to part with a perfect shaped Ugg. Yes. yes. And so I have maybe four or five pairs and it's fine. I'm sure the Prada ones will be as comfy, if not more comfy. Oh, those are, those are fashion boots. Those aren't comfy boots. What? No way. Yeah. I'm super excited boots. for how those fit into, you know, the thankfully being in Chicago. Anyway, so we're doing that and um, uh, my- Wait, wait, wait. So, but if you live in Chicago, please let us know what we should do if there's anything fun. Cause otherwise I'm just gonna we be taking really, Lauren up and down River yeah. North. Right, we're gonna be, we're gonna be is, on but... Yelp looking at excursions that are like over four stars. Right. Right. Or maybe we're running out of money and we'll do two stars. Right, oh yeah, exactly. Maybe three. Yeah, well, cause we're just doing one night. Yeah, one day, one night. Yeah. One night, yeah. I'm just yeah, getting yeah. in, okay. get out, yeah. Right. Well, we okay. supposed to go to Miami afterwards, but we got just canceled on that. Yeah, so. Yeah. Chicago, here we come. Here we go. Here we come. Chicago with my Chicago. You can get it. Ho. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah. Well, I, we just got out of Hollow or Ween. Oh, or Hollow or Ween. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's Hollow or Ween. Yeah. Well, I feel like your 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 Sludy um costume you didn't get to wear. I didn't get to wear. I know. And I'm you know sad. why? Oh God, you guys, Bubby's 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 also had a 911 emergency. This week has just been stressful. That's why my brain is so stressed up in here. You tell everybody what happened to Bubby's. So Bubby's it was Devastating. It was devastating. And also the timing of Bubby's having a devastating accident, 911 emergency. Jeremy was literally on packing, the way out the door. Literally on the way out well, the door. Okay, for the two week. things. Two things. I we woke up, all of the tech broke. The oh tech, my god. The tech that has worked every second of every day for the last seven, eight months now. Yes. We woke up, nothing worked. And I'm I have a I have a flight to catch. Mind you, 
nothing works for the first time and got, so you don't really know what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And Moose has to go to the ER all at once. All at and once. I'm like packing my suitcase, like <laughs> I l gotta go. Well, you were able to move your flight back like six hours, yeah. which I feel like that was the most important six hours of our week was was that six hours right there. I got a lot done in that time. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Um, did you pack anything weird? Like, were you panic packing and packed some weird shit? I legitimately shade? got to, like, I, I'm not kidding. I was in the plane. I was like, I for sure forgot that. I for sure forgot that. I for sure forgot that. <laughs> I got up, I literally got to my hotel. Cause yeah. my, I'm like out of practice. I used to have like a complete second set of everything. Which right, is my I remember travel that, version. yeah. I don't have a shit anymore. All this shit would be like very expired at this mm. point. But so I was like actually having to pack all my shit. Didn't forget anything. Wow. Had all the right things that I needed. Yeah. And all the clothes that you needed too? Yes. And it's a very weird world dressing for this like crypto world. Like, cause you don't really know if you're gonna like go be in like a, a lounge right. or if you're gonna be a bunch of like a bunch of like teenagers who yeah. just happen to have a million dollars of ETH. It's like this weird combination. We have to kind of have like three different Wardrobes. Outfits yeah. for a day. <laughs> also and like so, New yeah. York is a weird city in general to dress yeah. for because it doesn't, there's not like a, a dress code. The dress code there is so wide and- Well, well I would say LA is wider. Really? Yeah. I feel like in New York, you can literally wear whatever you want. Like I feel like New York has no boundaries. Well, I think New York's like three steps more uh, put together than LA. I guess, LA's yeah. just athleisure. LA's Everywhere. Sure. I know. For I, all I belong. It's another reason why we can never move to New York because I couldn't wear my Uggs and my sweatpants. Yeah. My sweaty pants. I everywhere. get real lazy when I'm comfy. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm glad that you packed everything okay. Yeah, it was great. I mean, like that week was, I mean, I was there for NFT NYC and for all my nerds out there, what a week. What a week. It was fucking insane. Tell the Tillies. Fill yeah. us in. Give us the, the, give us the download, the 411. Well, I got there <laughs> Sunday night. I slept Sunday night. Uh -huh. I left Friday. I slept twice. You slept twice? Twice. It was insanity. Do nerds normally turn up this much? Or no. do you think they were just going wild? Well, it was going wild, but you gotta remember like, I I'm, I overlap between like nerds that were in the space. Okay. Like big, massive like uh, uh, investors and brands and properties and IP and all this shit. And then like my group of friends that I either work with or I'm friends with that navigate through it. So it's like, there's constantly someone like, hey, we're over here afterwards. We hey, get we're over it. here afterwards. You're popular. Oh, please. We get Any it. Any way or <laughs> DIY trademark. I- uh, TM. Yeah, TM. It was just a, like a whirlwind. And how late did I sleep on Saturday morning? You slept 15 hours, Woo! followed by 14 hours the next night. And I could have slept for 16 more hours yeah. if I had had the time. Oh wait, oh, no, 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 sorry. That was 14, including the daylight savings hour that ah, we got extra. Yeah, yep. so you yep. lost so, a total of 29 hours of sleep in a 48 hour window. Made up for the- eight hours of sleep every night that I did not get. Yeah. I probably got eight hours of sleep in New York. Oh my God, Jesus yeah. Christ. I can't believe you didn't come home with like a, a cold or something. Hard to kill. Vaxxed and waxed, babe. Hard to kill this Vaxed one. Vaxxed and waxed. No, I definitely have cockroach energy. You definitely have cockroach. Yeah, yeah. Spray me with Raid, <laughs> throw me in the corner, <laughs> freeze me, heat me. I'm good. Oh God. I'll crawl out of there. No, but you're not like like gross, like a car, maybe like potato bug energy. Babe, listen, don't, you don't have to sugarcoat it. It's cockroach energy. Yeah, I'm, but, listen, I'm a cute cockroach. It's okay. okay. But potato bugs are cuter than cockroaches. Potato bug? Yeah. Yeah, but can you like raid those, flush those, put those on fire? I mean, like I'm telling you, cockroaches are like- Yeah, they really live through everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, like I watched my friends one by one fall off throughout the week. I'm like, I can't keep up. You're just, it, I can't. Like there was one guy who just completely, I mean, he could have gone another marathon without like after me. Like, really? Oh yeah. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. Is that a, is that, uh, is that drug facilitated? No. No, just no. natural excitement. Well, I, mean, I was eating caffeine, just eating it. Right. Just eating it. Uh -huh. Like at a certain point in time, I gotta be honest, it doesn't work. I was gonna say, I feel like you hit a ceiling well, on, ca on I, caffeine. I feel like caffeine's just like, it gives you a boost, but it gives you a boost from like, it's like you're like reserve. You know how we always talk yes. about this? So Lauren and I have this thing <laughs> because we've been together for a pandemic and a half um, <laughs> where when one of us has an upset stomach, uh huh we give each other a Pepto-Bismol uh -huh. or when we take a Pepto-Bismol ourselves. Yes. And what do we say? You're borrowing, you're borrowing, you're borrowing from the healthy poops of tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. It's true. Because the next day, they're no longer healthy. It's no longer They're healthy. just together. Yeah. 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 So or, or, you know, or you can think about it as if it's like you're averaging out at okay poops for a couple days while you balance out. Yeah. But you're you're borrowing from the health of your bowels from the next couple is days. Is borrowing, borrowing, is that Canadian borrowing? Borrowing? Borrow. How borrow? do you say it? Borrow. 
Okay, so it's not spelled with an A. Right. But Baro? The Baro? 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 <laughs> it, it's boring. <laughs> That's what you said. You you're bored when you're good poops. You made me sound like a Count Chocula or whatever. From, not Count Chocula. Who's the the Muppet? The count, the Count, the little vampire who counts. Count, count Dracula? Jilla? Is that what the Muppets? Yeah. Count maybe. Dracula? The Count? The Count. I don't know. I don't know. I'm mixing up Count Dracula, the cereal guy. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I, <laughs> anyway, you're borrowing from borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. Yeah, right. Anyway, I took a bunch of caffeine, I lived it, it was a good time. And now I'm back and no, I did not get sick. Yeah, I came honestly shocked. Me too, because that like like my immune systems had a like bunch of practice the last two years. Yeah, seriously, I'm, I like I can't decide if our immune systems are like in theory they should be really bad since we've been like in a bubble for so long, right? Well, had we lived in a bubble the whole time, but I, like I don't think your immune system forgets like the code that it learned before. Are you sure? Because you have to get a flu shot every year. Yeah, but the the flu continues to change. You're right. You're right to mutate. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. If there's one thing we learn from there's Dr. New, Fauci, there's no there's new permutations. Yeah, new permutations. <laughs> <laughs> I nerd, what else? <laughs> um, but did you do anything cool? NFT, NYC. Also like it it feels so long for how little, how few letters there are in, in NFT, NYC. It's uh -huh. a real mouthful. Well, I gave a presentation. Okay. And in classic Jeremy form, uh, I'm not shy when someone gives me a microphone and everybody else is, so. My dad thought it was really funny when he was like, oh, but when they were here visiting, um, my dad was like, oh, like Jeremy, like, do you get uh, do you get nervous with public speaking? And what did you say? Shit, no, I can't remember. You said, no, I love to hear myself talk. I love the sound of my own voice. Oh, I did say that, yeah. And Greg thought that was very funny. Yeah? Greg thought that was very funny. A little does he know it's just true. It's just true. <laughs> There's like a, a hint of sarcasm, but mostly well, well, just- I think it's more, it's not even, it's like a self, it's self realization that I don't mind. Hey, does anyone have anything to talk about? We got like 15 minutes to go. Yeah, give me that thing. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> That's my worst nightmare. If they're like, really? hey, we got 15 minutes, fill the void. What, you know what my worst nightmare is? Mm. The void. People just sitting there all, you know, no, no, actually the void doesn't bother me. If okay. everyone can just like be yeah, by Yeah, so I don't mind the void. The either. problem is this, someone will get real bold and go, well, I, I, I could try. I know a few jokes. Oh no, my God. Oh no, my God. Marty, sit down. No, <laughs> no yeah. Marty. I'm telling you, Marty on, McFly walks Marty. up there. No, every time. Come on. No, I, the, the, I was on a panel and I could just like before and after, everybody was just like, and also this is not exactly like, you know, a men's health presentation. This is, this is a lot of nerdy guys. Did you suddenly be, not that you're not a 10, but did you suddenly become a 12? Mm. Why couldn't I just be, continue to be a 10? Well, um, I became a 12. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. in, in a room mm -hmm. full of the crypto bros who are merging from their basements. Fortunately, some of them do have um, uh, a few million dollars of newly accumulated wealth. Yeah, yeah. Tacked there up. was a, there was like NFT people, NFT meetups basically. Uh -huh. NFT meetups. And yeah. so one of the NFTs that I own, a world of women, um, they had like a little a little lunch and it was so cute. And I wish I could have been there and it was so cute. But you didn't go, you didn't support them. I didn't go, I didn't okay. go. Um, but yeah, so like Bored Ape Yacht Club, that's like, is that the number one? <laughs> Bored Ape Yacht Club. I would probably say CryptoPunks number one. It's number one, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I just they just came before. Oh, it came before, okay. Yeah. But they had, they threw a big ass party. Did you go to that one? I saw it on- uh, I, They threw it on a yacht. It was on a yacht. I, no, yeah, I didn't go to that one. I went with I went to Friends with Benefits, and there were a couple of people that um because I just put FWB in my Instagram caption. Yeah, and people were like FWB, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> and I was like, you don't get the joke. You're not in on the story. If you know, you know. You I don't mean, know. I feel like like I'm. It was like zero point zero 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 one percent of your story that probably knew. Okay, yeah, but like I I would never be like, what do you think you're doing? I, I just, wonder if that had a higher share rate of people being like, yes. oh my God, did you see Lord yes. Yellow's boyfriend posted something about friends with benefits? Yes. Huh? Yes. Where to get that engagement, babe? That's what I'm talking about. Where to get that engagement? Controversy. Yeah, let's go. Stir it up. It was good. It was very good. And I'm glad we're not going to Miami. Me too. Um, and so anyway, this is what Jeremy was doing, just having a ball while Bubbies and I were in the ER. Drinking a lot of drinks, having a lot of laughs, mm -hmm. meeting a lot of people, shaking mm -hmm. a lot of hands, kissing mm -hmm. a lot of babies, did mm -hmm. not kiss any babies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. No NFT babies? Uh, not that I saw. You know what the newest NFT project that I saw the other day was that it just caught my eye? Didn't buy one. Vagina punks. <laughs> we've got crypto punks. Now we've got vagina punks. Guys, don't Honestly, call me. people were pushing for more um, like female presence in the NFT space. This is not quite how I imagined it happening. Vagina punks? With vagina punks. Well, 
I'm just going to be upset when I find out that it's nine dudes that have the actual like, uh, right, creative behind that, it. that have yeah. the creative, yeah, yeah, exactly. Crypto Cox is coming next. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start it? Should I start it? Yeah, Lauren, I think it's a great idea. Asian Girls Club, we can start, we can start Crypto Cox. Crypto, Crypto Cox. Crypto Cox. Let's do that. I can't wait. I. That's so exciting. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think of like how many dicks between the four of us that we've all seen. Enough, enough to make- to make A, a 10,000 PFP project? Yeah. Wow, a lot of dongs. No, it's not that many dongs. It's a lot of we dongs. I've not seen that many dongs. Listen, it, but you know what they do is that they give them all, you know, they give them like 10 different features and they do the, the attributes and yeah. then they do like the generated thing where they all come out a little different. Yeah. Some with like some rare, some rare things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the rarity tools. Rarity tools. Okay. Yeah. So we can have some rare elements on our crypto cox. You're a nerd. <laughs> You're a nerd. But I've been a nerd. Yeah, but I'm a an aspiring nerd. I mean, you've been calling me craft nerd since day one. Yeah, but like you really live. No, you're not a craft nerd anymore. You're just a nerd. Oh, but I still do crafts. You, and you're very good at them. Did you see my new painting in the hall? I was that. Did you paint that? Yeah. Shit, fucks. Yeah, you like it? I do. I I literally have been looking at it for too long that I had to move it into the hall so that I can just like see it from the corner of my eye a bunch of times to be like, do I actually like this? Because I've been looking at it for too long that I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. You know, you're too close to a project for too long. Yeah. Yeah. And so I've got, I've just completely left the universe. Like I, I have no idea what's happening. So anyway, so I, I left in the hall so I can- I get it. Judge it. You, you really should find like, like you should have like to, to go at the end of a project, you should have to leave. You should well, always well, have like another like engagement. Yeah, yeah, an eject. Yeah, otherwise yeah. you'll sit there and just uh, ruminate. It's, it's hard to know when, especially with like paint and stuff like that. You don't know yeah. when, it, yeah, it's hard to call it. Call. Anyway, let's go to Bubby's 911 ER adventure. So- As anyone with a pet can relate to. Oh my God, horrible. There's literally nothing worse than seeing your pet in pain. Well, it's really more hearing the pet in pain. Oh my God, Moose was screaming. It was horrible, horrible. Like it literally just like takes your heart from 14 different angles and just shreds it to pieces. Well, Moose does this thing when he's like <sighs> generally uncomfortable, yeah. which is complain a lot, scream and whine and moan and cry. But it's more like, it's more like, mm, mm. yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah. like a scream. Like this is like a gut wrenching scream. It's not happy. So Saturday night, Bubby's had a little bit of a limp and we were like, oh shit. But like sometimes like it'll just happen, you know, where he jumps off, jumps off the couch a little weird and he limps for a day and then he's fine. And then he started, oh, we were on the couch and he got up off your chest, remember? He literally just was on my chest and goes, and starts crying. And starts crying, yeah. yeah. And so we're like, oh my God, it's like, fuck, like, what's going on? So we're like, okay, well, like, let's leave it. It hasn't gotten worse, it's fine. So throughout the night, he slept. He let out like a few winces throughout the night, but like nothing like that was crazy, crazy, like 911 alarming. And then in the morning, he was like, not okay. Like not okay. Oh, and you audibly changed your- Audibly unwell. Yeah, audibly unwell, but like in a really sad way, not in like a, like a bratty way. Right. And so the night before Saturday night, you were able to change your flight. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then um, while Jeremy was still sleeping, I went to get Bubby's up off the couch to eat breakfast. And I, it just like sucks is like you, he, he wasn't getting up. So I was like, okay, well you have to eat breakfast. Like you have to go potty. So like in picking him up very, very gently, like literally so gentle, he just like screams, like screams so bad. He won't put any weight on it. He won't walk. He can basically just like awkwardly stand there on three legs and not do anything. And Moose isn't exactly <sighs> um, the most mobile dog to begin with. Right, right. So if we lose a leg, like we're in trouble. We are really in trouble. We're in trouble. Like just, just uh, we should buy a wagon and a stroller on Amazon because and that'll just be call the end call yeah. it a day. And so Moose also has an insatiable appetite. So if he doesn't get up to walk to his breakfast, like something is shit actually is wrong. wrong. Yeah, shit dying. is wrong. He's yeah. dying. Yeah. He's on his deathbed, obviously. Yeah. Like if you web and it, it, Moose not eating. Dying death. equals death. Imminent death. Imminent death, yes. Yep. So I bring his breakfast over to him and cause I was like, oh, well, if he's gonna have to like take meds or they'll have to like give him, you know, some stuff to give him a full exam. Like it's probably better if he has a little food in his tummy. <laughs> so I hand fed him half of his breakfast and then we put him in the car, which is weird. Cause she's continued to do that every day since weird. Hand fed him breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Hand feed Bubby's breakfast. Uh, you would hand feed bre buddy, Buddy's breakfast. Buddy's <laughs> Buddy's breakfast. We really should get a Doberman named Buddy and have Buddy and Bubbies. Buddy and Bubbies? Yeah. That's really cute. I know. Buddy and Bubbies. I know. That's real cute. Yeah. 
Um, so we got in the car, went to ER and um, the, the one- And I got, I said, hey, I have to go to New York. I'll see you guys in a week, bye. Literally, I was like, you're leaving us oh, here. Oh, I'm so sorry, in, my car's here. One, we didn't have any working tech. For, Wi-Fi for, was down. What do you mean? I got- Bubbies was injured. I got all the tech working. No, I know, but I left while you were fixing it. So when when Bubbies and I departed for the ER, the Wi-Fi was not back up. Our but outside gate- You did, babe. You did. Spoob. Again, I told you the most, the most important six hours of our life that week. Yeah. Get to ER and the silver lining I think of COVID is that they allow you to stay in your car instead of having to sit in the waiting room. So we waited a total of four hours. Um, and he, as soon as we went in, he got seen by a doctor immediately. They did a full little exam and uh, soft tissue tear. No, soft tissue injury. Yep, we don't have this is, tear. Is the prognosis. And uh, so fingers crossed, it's just a pulled muscle, but worst case scenario is that he has a tear. No, we're not doing that. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. Worst case scenario is he's ridiculously cute. Worst case scenario, okay. I am a big fan of phone games and I've got a new one for you. It's called June's Journey. You play as June Parker, an amateur detective investigating the mysterious death of her sister. It's a great game to wind down at the end of a work day. And honestly, it helps me relax after a long day. With over 30 million downloads, you'll put your powers of observation to the test, sharpen your sleuthing skills and relish the thrill of solving the case. June's Journey is a free download for your phone or tablet and contains endless hours of fun with thousands of intricate scenes and new chapters every week. All you need is your phone or tablet along with the internet connection and you are ready to start solving this mystery. Oh, plus I would say the couch is definitely the best place to start playing. Search for hidden objects and collect clues to solve the mystery in June's Journey. Also, can we just talk about the graphics on here? I feel like I'm actually in the game. You'll be center stage as the starring role in a thrilling adventure full of hidden clues, immersive scenes with danger and romance in full force. Ready to awaken your inner detective? Download June's Journey free today on the Apple Store app or Google Play. Can we talk underwear for like just a second? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I feel like every time I'm shopping for new pairs, I have to choose between comfort or cute. And I'm so over buying cute underwear that looks great in store, but they just feel like ass to wear. You've, you've mentioned that one or 47 yeah, times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the ones that are comfortable, well, let's face it, no one would call them hot. But now that I found Parade, I have the best of both worlds. And honestly, I have bought from Parade way before this pod sponsor. I'm a big fan. My favorite part was the um, the package they sent us. You just assumed that was one of your packages. Oh my God. I was like, I saw the package. I was like, are we doing a Parade ad sponsor? And here we are. We're right here, yeah, yes. here we are. Uh, but yet yeah, Parade has definitely changed the game, sounds like. And Parade is all about championing self-expression, inclusivity, and diversity. They want everyone to feel comfortable and confident. With sizes ranging from extra small to triple extra large, Parade has something for everybody. You name a size, a style, or color, Parade's got it. I have been living in their seamless naked thong. It's insanely comfortable and so soft that it makes you forget that they are even there. And I I mean that. I mean that Jeremy always asked, he was like, doesn't it feel weird to have something in between your butt cheeks? Okay. And well, I don't know if this is the form for that. <laughs> and no, it's genuinely so comfortable. What? <laughs> Hey, they're so good. No, I know it they're is. So I just, good. I just, the thought for me doesn't feel good. You don't want something between your butt cheeks? No. Even if it's Parade? Um. <laughs> parade also keeps the environment in mind, which you know we love by using recycled fabrics, a biodegradable packaging, and is on the road to carbon positivity. Instagram has definitely targeted me with an ad for Parade, but I am so glad that it did because they have quickly become the only underwear that I want to put on. Upgrade your underwear drawer like we did with Parade and head to parade.com slash wild and use code wild to get 20% off your first order. That's Y-O-U-R-P-A-R-A-D-E dot com slash wild code wild for 20% off your first order. Your parade.com slash wild code wild. So uh, unlikely and not gonna happen and we're not willing it to existence. We're not, oh, man we're doing so the, like an, wait, wait, the wait, anti-manifest. So, wait, so like another dog that had this issue? Might have this issue? Hypothetically. Okay. Yeah. So Metaf Terrier metaphorically that had this speaking. Issue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Metaphysically. I Metaphysically, get it. <laughs> uh, that bull terrier might have a tear in their CCL, which is the what? dog version of an ACL. No. And so eventually it just like actually tears. It's called a cruciate. Ah, uh, the canine cuddle ligament. The canine cuddle ligament. Yes. Ye old official canine cuddle ligament. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't make up signs. But I mean, Bubbies has been, so it's been uh, a week and a half since that day. And so we did some Popo ibuprofen. 
we had to go back for some opioids at one point because we had a real bad night. That could um, be fun. Yeah, three three nights in, uh, and um, but we got to sleep in the bed the entire time because Jeremy was gone. So it was a it was a real treat. Had the worst sleeps in my life, but it's okay. Yeah. It was worth it. Yeah, I don't think you. I think you were in bed all of the hours that I should have been, but you did not sleep very well. But I wasn't actually sleeping very well. Yeah. yeah. Well, did guys, you miss me? Yeah, and I was stressed about Bubby. Did you miss me? Everything was in disarray. You missed me, didn't you? Were you were gone. You missed me. You were drunk FaceTiming me at like five in the morning your time and handing the phone off to like your other drunk friends. And I was like, I don't want to talk to this person. It was so nice that you were thinking of me. It was so nice. It was so nice. But then then some drunk dude would be like, yo, Lauren, look at the sweet stripper phone number I got on my hand. And uh, I was like, yes. was she hot? And you're like, yo, she was hot, book yeah. And I was like, that's sick. That this, is sick. This all happened. That is sick. And let's be clear, it was a waitress. He said there was a stripper. Oh, well, you know, hybrid. Hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Bubbies is okay. He's doing better. He took his last day of Popo ibuprofen today. And uh, I think we're, he, oh God, getting him to not do the zoomies on the second half of like the recovery has been very difficult. Yeah, well then tie in time zones changing and he does not believe oh, in that. Also, my I God. forgot, we oh. already voted out daylight savings time. It's I gone. I thought we did too. It's got five more years. It's like, it's like a 10 year arc. Oh my yeah. God, but it's still happening. Yeah. I was trying to explain, so I posted Dumb. something. I honestly like, I feel like everyone who is not human and on a human controlled eating schedule, AKA dogs and cats and I don't know, maybe birds, hamsters, fish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The animal like, um, for their sake, we need to cancel daylight savings. For our sake too. For Stupid. our sake too. Oh my God, I hate it. Literally the sun sets it like, it starts setting at 3.30. I know. 3.30. You're yelling at me, but I know. 3.30. Also, I had, already, I had memorized every single like other time zone that I work with. Oh fuck, and, they're and then all screwed. now, I know. Cause some know. change, some don't, it's ridiculous. I know, it's so annoying. Yeah, I posted a story, um, I feel like it's been, it's a thing on TikTok and like social media where you post uh, the tantrums that your dogs and cats are having because the their dinner has now shifted and right. they don't understand. Like I just wish for like 10 seconds I could speak English to always and be like, it's daily savings. I know it's stupid. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna we're gonna slowly we're gonna slowly bring you back to normal time. Actually, we can cold turkey on him. We didn't, I didn't cold turkey on him. No, I cold turkey him. I would never do that to Bubbies. Okay. I, but I will say right now we are currently cold turkeying him. We're definitely cold turkey. But the first two days I did not cold turkey. Okay. I transitioned fifteen minutes. Wow. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, it reminds me of a thing that my, my buddy Cal once said, I think you need a hobby. <laughs> oh my God, Cal will literally never live that down telling Remy that she needs a hobby because she watches too much TikTok. That was the funniest thing. It was just the most like, he meant it so innocently. And it, it, and like in a nice way, but the way that it came out, I'll never forget. It wasn't good. It wasn't good, babe. It wasn't it good. It wasn't good. I heard that and I go, you young, Fool. Stupid boy. Just fool. Stupid boy. Fool. We've been there. Oh my God. Um, so anyways, Bubby's is where are we going with this? Bubby's, he's good. I want to get into the assumptions about you. Oh, the assumptions about me? Yeah. Okay. So I filmed a video this week, uh, and I haven't done it for two years. And I don't know why I do this video because it hurts my feelings every time. Because <laughs> the stuff that people assume about you, sometimes it's just not that nice. Or sometimes it's too true and then it hurts my feelings on that side. Have you ever thought about a job in Accounting. No. No one would give you any opinions. I had to have an, a tutor for accounting. I was really, I, I really struggled with Financial accounting. or management? Uh, managerial. Managerial. Wait, no, what was the other one? Managerial and? Financial. Oh yeah, no, managerial, it was fine. Financial, not, not so, so good. Fine. Yeah. Not so fine, Got not it. fine. Okay. Yeah, not fine at all. Um, so you do this video where you put out uh, an open question of what your assumptions are. And so you're basically just asking to be shit on basically. And so again, you sign yourself up for this Do you do it video. so that it's anon anonymous or do people, can you see who's submitting these? I can see who's submitting them and people get real bold. Especially when you see, I, maybe they don't know that they can, I thought I can see that though. Mm. Cause like sometimes I'll have the same person ask like five really fucking mean questions in a row. And I'm just like, bitch. And then I block them. What? Really? You're asking them something. No, 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 no. But when it's like in a really, really mean way. Okay. It's in a really mean way. Like Got someone it. was trying to they're come trying to for be me. Hurtful. They, oh my God. Yeah. Like they're trying to be like super hurtful and like fucked up. Like someone was like trying to go in on me about like uh, that I, I'm trying to actively whitewash myself and just completely separate myself from my Asian culture and that I just pretend to be white so I don't have to, um, you know, represent for half of my heritage. Like it was very fucked. Like 
five, six, seven, maybe eight different uh, messages right. that I received about that. And as we discussed earlier in this episode, literally half of your eyelids are Asian. Are Asian. So like- That's what I'm saying. You, wear, you wear it on your what face. what I'm saying, literally. Yeah. Okay, so like j just short of people being outwardly hateful. Um, I mean, no, it was fine. I, I, that was like, I'm being dramatic. That was like the 0.05% of people that like I left just, my I, assumption. I, the thing is like, I feel like if I asked that about myself, yeah, I would know all the things. I, I don't think there'd be that so much of a surprise. Oh, oh, okay. So one of the, uh, one of the assumptions that I actually feel like I have an entirely new perspective on, um, and I get this on every Q and A ever, is that like, when is Jeremy going to propose? I feel like yeah. it's like a question over and over why, and over. Why are they saying that to you? To I don't know actually. Yeah. Yeah, because I wouldn't know the answer to that. Right. Yeah. So they're just rubbing it in your face that I haven't. I I guess. Well, this one I guess makes more sense because like they're assuming that I feel a certain way about it. Has anyone done a study on like why people feel like they can be so bold to people they don't know on the internet and say things that they would never say to anybody in person? Because they should. They really should. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. You know what they should do is that they should uh like associate or like find the correlation between like overall happiness and like happiness within themselves. And then the overall like level of boldness that they have to like say crazy shit to people. Right. I think I think it would not be shocking where those two things aligned. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. Yeah. So anyways, um, the new perspective that I have, I feel like is that, and this is this is not, I just wanna be very clear. This is not leeway for you to be like, oh sweet, I'm gonna propose in uh, 26 years. Okay. Um, but like the way that I answered the question is that I think in past relationships, I saw proposal and ring as like a band-aid for things. It's a super, super kind of depressing way to look at things. But like, when I look back, I'm like, I thought that that would fix issues. I thought yeah, that that's would- That's why people like have, we have a kid to fix it. And then the I kid guess, didn't yeah. fix it. I guess actually that is a common thing. Like get married, get have a kid, like do all the things you're supposed to do to like fix problems that you don't want to actually acknowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did that once. Yeah, right. And I think in like my most insecure state, like knowing that there were many other underlying issues, I was like, oh, one, this will fix things. And two, this is like a commitment. It's not that it's not a sign of commitment, but I feel like I had such like a twisted perspective on like how this is gonna be the, I mean, I guess now looking back, it was just like a band aid. but before I thought it was like the cure. Well, I think people just like, well, I think the problem is we, well, for millennials anyway, I think maybe it's better now. I'm not sure. Like we were born into a world where the divorce rate was nearing 50-50 anyway. It's, yeah. it's just been 50-50. Like, I don't think people are so, um, I don't think that the average person who is a teenager today has the misconception that as long as they find the right person, everything is just gonna be okay, right? Like I think that people are a little bit more aware of the fact that like we live in a world where that's quite tumultuous and mm -hmm. that like makes relationships hard. Oh my God, relationships are fucking hard. But I, I think that people realize like, like the fairy tale ending oh, yeah. doesn't exist for a hundred percent of the world. Right. Like right. it is not, we do not live in a Disney movie. Right. Despite us living in a Disney movie, of course. Right, 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 yeah, right. Of course, Of right. course, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, there's an exception. I just wanna be very clear that like you are the Disney prince and I, I don't know where I kind of fit into that, but you are the Disney prince. Uh, well, Disney's done a great job of cultural appropriation. So really any movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I think that uh, we love to think of a thing that we haven't done yet and assume that that will, like that next chapter- The that grass next phase, is greener. That's gonna be, once we get there, everything will be great. Oh my God, yeah. And so anyways, through through much uh, inner inner reflection and a little bit of therapy, you too can realize that that is just a Band-Aid on Better a help. bad relationship. <laughs> WT9. Wait, so uh, did, uh, did you gonna get into any of these? Yeah, even, well, you so, so anyway, decided any. So that, that was one of them though, is that like Got you it. want Jeremy to propose. And so like my answer to the question essentially, like it was that I feel like I put so much pressure on it before and like it was something that I wanted so, badly for the wrong reasons. And looking back, I'm like, God damn, that was a toxic mindset. Like, like Jesus. But look at you now. Look at me now, healthy. Not married. Not married. Not engaged. Not engaged. Not anytime soon. Not even close. So far away. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, one of them, this is a good one. You want to start an OnlyFans after seeing Mia's success. Well, well. As, as much as I love taking photos, I feel like I get ready once a week 
for shooting, kind of, even half half ready. And then that's kind of it. Like, I feel like I see, I see the lengths that Mia has to go to to like always order cute new lingerie and look really cute and have good hair and full good makeup. Job. It's a full, like that bitch hustles. It's like she's got 900 boyfriends. It's like more than that. Wow, 9,000 boyfriends. Many, 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 90, more than that. Boyfriends. Okay, well, I'm not sure where she's at now. 900,000 boyfriends paying fourteen ninety nine. You can go there right now. <laughs> I mean, damn, if you had that many boyfriends at that rate, that'd be a, that'd be True. a healthy income. Yeah. Yeah. Healthy income. But yeah, I have a, I have, I feel like I have a full plate of very fulfilling things. And that's not one of those things that I feel like is in my, is in my future, but love to see my friends thrive. Go subscribe to me as only fans because that shit slaps. Ooh, I actually got to participate in one of the photo shoots not too long uh, yeah, ago. No. Got to hold the grapes above her booty. Yeah. A, a dream job. A dream job. On Patreon, you, someone would you know, Do you know how many people would kill for that job? Uh, well, a hopefully, booty grape hopefully holder? Hopefully no one would kill. I've seen some of the feedback from her fans and she's got fans. She was popping. She got fans. She's created a leaderboard. She, I mean, I, I, she could. Yeah. She could. Yeah. She definitely could. Mm -hmm. Definitely could. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I also don't know where HBO would sit with that, with an OnlyFans. Well, you know, there are a lot of boobs in Game of Thrones. You're right, there are a lot of boobs on Game of Thrones. Yeah. There are a lot of boobs. Oh, I got a lot of this one. Um, wanting to change like the channel name and like overall identity to not be Lord DIY anymore. False. False. Yeah, false. False. Yeah. I mean, but there was definitely a time where I was thinking about it. Yeah. Cause I think when I was like in my most unhappy state and I was like most resentful of like the corner that I had backed myself into, anything that was closely associated with that, I like just dreaded and I hated and I wanted nothing to do with it. But then it came to my senses and I was like, oh my God, you are a dumb bitch. You've worked 10 years for this. You host an executive producer show on HBO under this brand and like things on shelves in Target and Walmart and like all the places under this brand. Like I've hustled too hard to just like throw that away like an idiot. And you know, trademarks are expensive. And trademarks are fucking expensive. And then you'd have to go through new logo design for a new name and then- it's, Yeah, you know, it's a lot, it's a so whole thing. we kept it. Right, so here we are, still Lord DIY. One day we'll use it as an NFT, we'll sell it off, it'll be fine. Somebody else can be Lord DIY, it'll be great. I don't wanna give it away. I'm kidding. Oh my God, imagine someone bought that, that'd be so crazy. I mean- To like pass on the title to someone else yeah, to be Lord DIY. It's happening. That'd be so fucking weird. That would be weird. That would be so like weird. Like the channel that everything goes Yeah, 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 just like, pass it on to someone. Oh my God, that would be so weird. Like all of the content just changed to a new person hosting it. Right. Hey guys, what's up, it's Lauren. How do you think about da, da. Blue's Clues feels? Oh my huh? God. Yeah. Yeah, who do we go, Steve to who? Steve number two. Was it Steve number two that didn't change his name? No, I'm kidding, I don't know. Oh my God, I, I feel like they did give- It's gotta have a new name. Yeah, so they, I'm gotcha. sure they let the guy keep his name. I don't know. Yeah, could be. I don't think his name was Steve. Was his name Steve? I thought it was Steve. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Bad, I'm the wrong person to ask. Oh man. Did you see that video that Blue's Clues yes. Steve posted though? Yes. I I don't know why I thought this. I feel like a lot of people thought this, that Blue's Clues Steve was dead. I feel like there was a fake rumor. That he died of a cocaine that, overdose. Okay, I didn't hear about the cocaine part, I but I cocaine definitely artist, yeah. heard about uh, like a fake rumor about how- He was dead. He was dead. Yeah, I feel like that was a thing though, back in like the like early internet. Yeah. People just died. People just died. They didn't die, but people just died. Like online they just died? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like the publicist just confirmed X has dead. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, like, what, really? do you, what do you mean? Meanwhile, that person sees it's like me like super, go, super not dead. My, fav my favorite one, like I've seen somewhat recently is like, I saw it about Lil Nas X and he responds, he goes, I am? <laughs> Lil Nas X is legendary. elite on uh, Twitter. Legendary. He is so funny. Legendary. I just, I, I, I wish that he had a podcast just so I could listen to him. Oh, exist. his podcast would be so good. I know. Oh my God. We should have Lil Nas X on the podcast. That'd be sick. Maybe actually we can do him and Amber Chamberlain at the same time. Or we could do Jack Harlow and Lil Nas X. Okay, Jack Harlow, Lil Nas X, uh, Emma Chamberlain. Yes. And Why maybe- throw a Kardashian in there? I was thinking maybe Kim. Oh, oh, Kim and Pete. Yeah. Kim and Pete Davidson. Well, maybe we we could even do Yee as well. No, I don't want Yee. Yee, yay. I don't want some fucking Yee in here. Yee, yeah. Yee. A lot of Kanye hate, or lovers are gonna hate that. I don't care. Wow, okay. I was coming back from a photo shoot the other day and I was in this like random building in the arts district near downtown in LA and, um, I was in the elevator and this guy was like, he's like, yo, oh God. you like Kanye? And I was like, eh. And he like looked kind of bummed. I was like, did that just make your story less cool? And he was like, I mean, yeah, like a little bit. He's like, you know Sunday service? And I was like, yeah, it's like I know Sunday service. And he's like, yo, so like Sunday service is next door right now. He's like, it's like low key, but like I'm gonna try and get in. Like you want to come with? And I was like, it's okay. 
I'm wearing Uggs. I'm coming home from the shoot right now. Yeah. I don't want to go to Sunday service with you. It, Listen, swing and a miss. But swing my, and a miss. But my guy- Sh- Shot is shot. Shot is shot. He really shot is shot. And you know what? Shooters are going to shoot. Shooters are going to shoot. <laughs> Shooters are going to shoot. I, see, I can't disrespect the man from taking a shot. I think that he was more excited about Sunday service though than anything to do with I me. think he was excited to take a little shorty to Sunday service. Shervish. A little shorty sh- to a little Sunday, shorter, Sunday service. service. Shorty to Sunday service. Shorty to Sunday service. Shorty to Sunday service. Shorty to Sunday service. Oof. And you know what? He was totally right because like, I don't know what building, cause like the art district is weird where there's just like a yeah. shit ton of like big building, like in lofts and stuff like that. Like, is it a factory? Is it Is it the most insane? Down, yeah, everything. exactly. Yeah. It could be the most beautiful, uh, yes. Hype beastie, whatever. Right, right. Yeah. You just don't know in the arts district. And um, as I was pulling out of the parking lot, there were many people who were very stylish and cool looking. Yeah? Yes. You weren't one of them? I wasn't, no. When okay. I said that I was wearing Uggs rolling But out of you the are shape. one of them today because on shop.wildsell9.com, you can get yourself a varsity sweater. <laughs> Back to our program. Oh, also, I just want everyone to know that like for the most part, unless you live somewhere very, very, very remote internationally, um, for most places, these will arrive before Christmas. Turn up. Yeah. Look at us. I know. I um, uh, originally, I, I pushed to launch a week later. And they were like, no. And we'll, no, no, they were like, yeah, because oh. I wanted to be there for Christmas for everyone. Oh, okay. I know because shit gets crazy, especially like Black Friday and stuff. Like yeah. shit gets crazy. Well, also, you know, there's a lot of things that are just backed up everywhere. Yeah, everything's backed up. Oh, I heard there's actually a new fine that they're applying to boats who have been there for too long in the uh, dock. Oh, it's docking. like when you don't show up for your Uber and they, they start, yes. they, they Yes. The meter on. And they start turning the meter on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so there's a fine now for ships that have been there for too long. So hopefully it'll get shit moving. Oh, so they you know, to get off of it so that they can like put new ships there? Yeah, they're like, if you're a ship who's been sitting here for too long, like you're- And it's empty. Uh, Why would they find ships that have been there that are sitting there full, but haven't been able to unload? Yeah, I guess it's empty ships of waiting to get new things put right. on. Yeah, that makes more sense. Empty vessels. Yeah, cause they can't penalize the full ships. It would be really unfair if they penalized yeah. the full ships. Yeah, why would they penalize the full ships? That's well, not fair. I agree. Yeah. You should start a movement. <laughs> Shipgate. I get it. When are we going to Japan? Oh my God. Someone literally on my last video was like, I'd love to see you go to Japan. And it was so- I'd love to go to Japan. No contacts out of nowhere. And I was like, I too would love to see me go to Japan. Maybe this year? Uh, 20. 22? Oh, 2022. Yeah, I think so. You think we'll go to Japan in 2022? Yeah, I think so, right? Wow, till nine's going to Japan? Maybe. I love it. We talked to someone last night about potentially going to Dubai. Love Dubai. I want to go to Dubai. Never been to so, Dubai. I was going to say I, love Dubai. But I love the idea of Dubai. <laughs> uh, Dubai yeah. reminds me of Vegas and I love Vegas. I, yeah, I just, I would love to go to Dubai. Yeah. It looks it looks like not a real place. Yeah. It looks like very much not a real place. Oh, well, I, you know, rewind 50 years and it wasn't a place. Yeah, truly. Yeah. And it was- it, They've done a lot of development. And literally a little, not a, a place. Not so much time. Was it just desert before? Like literally just desert? I. I don't mean to insult all seven people from Dubai listening to this, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, if you're um, a Dubai native, local, did resident, you wanna? Did you wanna Dubaiian? It's a Dubai. A Dubai. Yeah. If you're a Dubai, if, if, you're, if Dubai. you're a Dubai, yeah. let us know what the vibe is. No, let, 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 let us know what the vibe was. Let us know what the vibe was and yeah. what the vibe is now. Give us yeah. a vibe check. Yeah. Give us a du- Dubai Actually, vibe check. It, below, for everyone listening, if you could just name the top two or three cities you think Wild Till Nine should visit Oof, and do fun. a live episode next year, we're all gonna manifest together. Fun. Yeah. We love a little manifestation. I can't wait for everyone to go. It's Duluth, Minnesota, dickhead. I said Duluth, Iowa, and it, oh, uh, everyone, and everyone, apparently there are a lot of geography majors that would listen to this podcast. Mm. So my bad. I literally have never even heard of the city you just said. So in my books, sound really smart. Well, thank you, my love. You're welcome. Thank you, appreciate You're welcome. you. I'm we, here to build you up. Did you want to hit any more assumptions? Let's no? do one more. Let's, Let's do, do one more. more. Okay. Oh my God. You're finally feeling the thirties now. <laughs> oh my God. I know, I know, but- I'm gonna assume it's a 16 year old that said that. Uh, Wait, and 30 feels very old. Or maybe it's either someone who is also feeling the 30s though, maybe I feel like. That's like kind of how I, I don't know. I, I should have lurked them actually, I should have lurked them. Yeah. But I um, I was just saying that I feel like the birthdays that I had in quarantine feel like they didn't happen. Same. So like when I turned 27, nothing, like literally nothing changed. Like literally nothing I changed. I was 27 before this shit happened. Yeah, now you're old. Uh, 28, 29, number 30. Yeah, I oh missed my, my Oh last. my God, you're gonna be 30 in like three I months. Say, when I came back, <laughs> when I came back from New York, there was a, a small part of me that was like, I still got it. We're still good. I can still hang. It's all good. You can still hang. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I died. 
Like my re my rebound time was not the same, but I was like, <laughs> I can hang with the kids. I literally pulled something in my back sleeping last night. Like it it affected my workout. Like I had to I had to um like make adjustments in my workout this morning because I pulled something in my back. Just surviving, just living, just living and breathing. I hope everyone knows that if you're uh, between the age of whatever you are and twenty five. You're a child, and then 26, 27, 20, 20, 30, and then it all it's, goes every downhill. year. It's just another pile of just, just shit on top of your psyche, physical body, yeah. soul, everything. Yeah. But yeah. at least, um, I was saying, what's uh, the positive here? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, um, but uh, the sun will come out um, tomorrow. Um, the what? The sun will come out tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. 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 What did Canadian um, Annie sing? Tomorrow, tomorrow, the sun will tomorrow, come out tomorrow, tomorrow. With your bottom dollar, dad, tomorrow. Shout out Lafia. What else we got here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're jumping to Lafia already. That means we're wrapping it up. No, I just know you. You've got a time thing. I do have a time. You have thing. a timely nail thing. It's a timely nail thing. I know emergency nail appointment. Um, also emergency fitting in six minutes. So. I'm very stressed. You're about to have your boobs out in the living room. About to have the boobs out in the living room. That's always how it goes. My two gay stylists come over and I get full ass, butt ass naked. And- uh, That will be on your OnlyFans. That'll be on the OnlyFans. Did you want to talk about your Discord? I don't have a Discord, but I do know how to use Discord. I'm basically a pro at this point. She is getting extra nerdy these days. Uh, um, appreciate you guys. See you next week for what will be a week of big announcements, hopefully. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Potentially. But possibly. Might be. Could be. Could be. Hard to say. Maybe. But until then, bye. bye.